Good morning, YouTube and WSCS. This is Tony Green. I am um, bringing to you my show, Create a Life You Love. And maybe I should have played with the camera a little bit before I started the show. Okay, so a couple of years ago, I created the show, Create a Life You Love. And what I really wanted to showcase during that show was how entrepreneurs or um, people in general took their passion and made it their purpose and then created a career out of it. And all of those shows are on WSCS. So if you go back um, to my website, tonig.info, or to the WSCS website or um, YouTube channel, you can watch those interviews. But what I want to do now is, I think, so much more important because we are all put here with a drive inside of us, something that we want to do, something that calls us, our passion, our purpose, um, something that makes us want to jump out of bed in the morning and get started with our day that we're just so excited for, okay? And I know that's inside of each and every one of us. So I have taught um, law of attraction classes in the public school systems, the rec systems, the recreation systems, and to clients of mine throughout the U.S. and throughout the world. And I want to kind of bring it to you guys now. So this series, this whole program that I'm going to be doing now and in the future um, is going to be geared on what do we need to do to create that life that we love, that life that we want. And this is in the area of um, relationships, money, career, every aspect of our life. So I took some notes over here that I'll be glancing at every once in a while to kind of keep me on track because I can tend to really get off track and talk a lot. And um I just want to tell you a little bit about myself before I get started, and then we're going to jump right into it. So my name is Tony Green. I'm a psychic medium, as many of you know. I host a show every Monday at noon for 30 minutes on YouTube and WSCS called Psychic Medium Tony Green, where I take callers and answer their questions. Most questions really are about relationships career and money. So I want to teach people how to get to that point where they're creating their relationships and the money and careers that they want. Okay, really quick. I'm horrible at self-promotion, but I'm going to try to be better. I have authored and channeled seven, seven books. I'm working on another one right now. And I never take credit for my work because it all comes through me. So this is what if a transformational journey. Um, and then there are other books that are meditation books and um, poetry books. So that, that's my great promotion. That's how I promote myself. Let's get right into this. What does it take to create the life that you want? The life that you have been knowing is available for you, but not seemingly able to pursue or wanting to pursue. It doesn't take much, to be perfectly honest. And I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about my stories, my personal creations, and I've created quite a bit. I have um, brought things into my life in ways I didn't even know were possible. Okay. So, where does this start? How does it start? Simply enough with a thought. Just a thought. And that thought, when backed up by a feeling, and the feeling is almost more important than the thought, 
will take you there. Now, some things can come like that, depending on how strongly you think it and how much feeling you put into it, how much you believe in it. Um, and what, one of my favorite statements is, we don't get what we want, we get what we believe. And sometimes we get what we believe we deserve. So if we can change that whole thought process to, I deserve better, just start there. Just start with, I deserve better. And what's better? Instead of, you know, um, instead of $45,000 a year, maybe you go, you know what? I deserve $60,000 a year. And all of a sudden, offers start to come in for that. Okay, so I deserve better. Whether that's a relationship, finances, career, whatever it is, I deserve better is the most important statement you can start with because that statement will take you to the next level. It will, it will automatically level you up because inside of you, you are now knowing and believing that this is possible and it's something you can have, okay? And you should have. Everyone, let me tell you, we are put here to have amazing lives. We were not put here as a punishment. We were not put on this earth to suffer or struggle. We were put here to have these amazing lives and create and co-create. As long as we are in that space of creating and co-creating, everything will come to us. It might not come right away. It might not come today. It might take a minute for it to get to us, but it's going to get to us. Trust me on this one. I know I've created so much. And if you knew, it's not like I grew up with parents that believed in creating or even knew about creating or like, I don't think my dad ever worked. <laughs> okay, so what? <laughs> I didn't learn like great work ethic from my dad. I did from my mom. My mom was amazing. She was very creative and amazing when it came to work. But I didn't grow up with parents that were in that space, so to say. And still just listening to my guidance, listening to what came through me, um, knowingly or unknowingly, you don't have to say, the, an angel came to me and gave me this information. You can be in that space where you're saying, I had this epiphany, this thought, this idea. They don't care if they get credit or not. Angels and guides are non-egoic beings. So you don't have to constantly give them credit. That's just my personal thing. Okay, so we are all energy and we are attracting to us like energy meaning wherever we are, whatever our feelings and emotions are in this moment, and yes, beliefs, that is exactly what we are bringing to us so it can mirror us. And whether this is in career, relationship, finances, if you look around at your life right now, and I'm going to say some things that you might love and you might not love. It's okay. The things you love, embrace them. They're things you already have. The things you do not love, learn from them because they're things that you might think you don't need or th there's a reason you're not loving the statements. Okay. So everyone right now is creating by default or intentionally. If you start creating intentionally, you will be amazed at what you bring in. You've already brought everything into your life that's in your life. One way or another, you've brought it in with your thoughts, your beliefs. And these could be beliefs, patterns, and programs from your childhood that you just picked up by default and started running with. Okay. 
So we are all creating if by default. We're creating what we want or we're creating what we don't want. So we just need to get a little bit more intentional and create what we do want. We have to focus and uh, intentionally know what we want and what we want to bring into our life so that we can continue to do that. So one of the things, and I'm going to be uh, looking at my notes as I do this because I really can go off on tangents and talk. Um, one of the things to realize is we we what happens in our mind often happens in our world. So where we are, everything is mirroring us. The people that we are around often are mirroring us. The amount of money that we make is being mirrored by the people that are around us. The amount of love, the amount of work, everything is a mirror. And it's to show us what we like, what we don't, what we have, what we want. Every once in a while, someone will be dropped in that maybe is where you want to be, has what you want. And that's your opportunity to say, okay, wait, let's look at that. What, what's that person's beliefs? Not what is that person doing? Because we all get there doing it our own way. But what is that person's beliefs? How did they get there? What did they believe that brought them there? In my show, um, my in this show previously, when I interviewed uh, people who owned their own business or who had created the life that they really loved and wanted, all of them had a knowing along with a belief inside of them that took them to where they where they are and created this amazing life from it okay now having said that <clears throat> excuse me um it's important to know that that knowing those thoughts that happen in our mind happen for a reason if you have a belief if you have a system within you that says I, I know I can do this. And wherever you are right now, you knew you could accomplish that. You just have to know better for yourself. You have to know you're capable of accomplishing so much more than where you already are. And you have to know that whether you're creating in faith or fear, you're creating. So if you're afraid you're going to change jobs or careers and get the same thing you had before, you're pretty much going to get that. If you're thinking you're going to uh, change partners, but your partner is going to be exactly the same as the one you had before, you're creating that. <clears throat> now, with some of this, there has to be some healing to it. So if you've had some bad experiences that you're afraid you're going to keep repeating, it might be time to clear those experiences. And I, let's, let's do that now because I, I'll just do a little process here. And um, we repeat the past. Yes. Yeah, so let's clear that. Okay. So anyone... Hi, Champagne. Is that your name? Yep, Champagne. Thank you for joining me here. Hi there. Um, anyone who's afraid of repeating the past, they there there's a really good chance you're going to repeat that past. And it's time to let that go because that is something that was an experience. It's like going to a big theme park, an amusement park. You ride a ride. If you liked it, you might ride it again. If you did it, you're not going to stand in line for two hours to ride that ride again, are you? No, no, you are not. So it's about deciding what you love and doing that again without thinking about what you didn't like. So let's use uh, uh, money, money, for example. And that is going to be a big part of this show. Every time I do this show, 
we are going to talk about money. Why? It's relevant. We need it. And the more we have, the better things get. The better things get, the more we can create for ourselves and for others. I'm going to tell you, you have a belief system with money. And I can tell you exactly what your belief system is without seeing any of your finances. The amount of money you most often have saved is your belief system. Okay, the amount of money you most often have saved is your belief system. Now, we've all had times when we've had this much money and we've all had times when we've had this this much money, <laughs> okay? And the same thing goes for relationships. The type of person that you have dated the most or the experiences you have had the most with that person or people that you have dated are your belief system. Now, what does that mean? That doesn't mean you're stuck. That doesn't mean you can never have a different experience. Absolutely you can. That's that's the easy part. But it starts with, I deserve better. I want you to say that every day, all day long until my next episode. I deserve better. I deserve better money. I deserve a better partner. That doesn't mean a different partner is going to come in. Sometimes it does. Sometimes once we have that knowing in ourselves that we deserve better, people just start treating us better. They start giving us better. There was a statement, and, and it goes around a lot. We treat people, we teach people how to treat us. And it took me a moment to figure that out. But what we allow will follow. So if we allow someone to make excuses, they're just going to keep making excuses. If we allow someone to ghost us or breadcrumb us or to um, only show up um, for this or that or the other thing, that's exactly what they're going to do. We cannot be so afraid we're going to lose our job, our money, our person, that we allow them to show up and treat us the way we do. We have to say, you know what? I deserve better. And if you are not the better, the better will come. Now, let's go back to Champagne. I love your comments. Yes, thank you. Um, and it is, it really is, Champagne, you hit it. It's a challenge that makes you stronger. I, and again, I want to say this, and I, ne I need everybody to know this. We are put here like the stars in the sky. Heaven is supposed to be able to see us shine brightly. Just like, you know, there's a belief that when a loved one goes home, their soul is shining from heaven now and we can look up and we can see it. And it's to a certain extent that is true. Being a psychic medium, I know that like I know that. People's souls show up to me as little blue, red, green orbs, okay? Just, this flesh, it's an illusion. And we are energetic beings with this beautiful, magnificent soul. And I'm pointing here because our our soul is where our heart is, okay? And that soul is supposed to be unbound and bright and brilliant. And that happens when we create and when we co-create. And we can create by ourselves. We can create with others. We can create with the other side. We are here to be master creators, magicians, whatever word you want to use, however you want to say it, that's what we are here for, to create, to be the strongest, most brilliant light we can. And on top of that, I want you to know, your family might not love this. 
So what? So what? You're not here to repeat your lineage. You're not here to do what they have always done. I so want to get my swears on right now because I'm so passionate about that, but I can't because this does air on TV. You are not here to do what has always been done. You are here to do something new. You are here possibly to be the first millionaire in your family. You are here to break and recreate your family lineage. Now, maybe nobody in your family loves that because it scares them. We are creating from faith or we are creating from fear. And if you're following the family line, doing, 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 just to follow the family line, not to offend or upset anybody, stop. You're not helping them. You are not. And let's go one step further. Maybe you're not here to teach your family a new way. You can change your family lineage. You can be the first to break that, to create, to have the business, to do whatever it is you're going to do. <clears throat> but maybe, and I'm going to say this, Maybe it's not your family who you're teaching. Um, maybe the people that are watching you create and co-create and have this magnificent life are the little girl down the block or someone who is destined to follow in those footsteps. We have to think outside of the box. We have to think outside of where we are and what we've always known to get to who we are supposed to be and who we are shining for. And who we're shining for isn't always the person sitting right next to us, okay? That, that is so important to know, okay? Now, your thoughts are energy. Most people who study the law of attraction know this, and everything in this universe is energy. And I have to talk faster now because my clock is running down, and the show on WSCS is only 28 minutes, and oy, okay, so... I'm going to give you the rundown of energy, which, which you may already know this, but I'm going to say it again. We have a frequency. Each and every one of us has a frequency. We are either um, on a high frequency or a very low frequency. And I, re I, I compare these two um, emotions. The lowest uh, frequency is like severe, severe depression. And the highest, highest frequency is maybe like a day of euphoria, like the day you were proposed to or married or had your baby. I don't, I don't know what brings you, you I know what brings me euphoria. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> um, TMI. Okay, so most of us are someplace in the middle of that, but each of us are, are on our frequency. Now, this whole universe runs like a radio station. Wherever your frequency is, whatever number you are dialed in at is what is coming to you. So if you are angry, you're getting that, that frequency. If you are depressed, you're getting that frequency and everything around you will be in alignment with that. If you're in euphoria, that's the point when things just come to you. Everything is just kind of flowing with you. So <clears throat> the goal for this week, and I'll, I'll be back next week and the week after and the week after, just like I do my show every Monday at noon for Psychic Medium, I'm going to do this show once a week. I'm not, I have to lock in a day and a time yet. But it, 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 this week, I deserve better. You don't have to say what that better is. 
Just, I deserve better. And where's my frequency? And the way we know our frequency is by what the people around us look like. Because again, it's a mirror. They're mirroring us. They're mirroring our mood, our money. They're they're mirroring our attitudes. But most of all, and I, and, and I cannot stress this enough, they are mirroring our beliefs, what we believe we deserve. Mm -hmm. They are. So look for the first time at the people around you, not with judgment, because judgment phew, that will tank out your frequency like nothing else. Look at them and say, what do they believe they deserve? And you'll know by the, the same way you see what you deserve. What are their um, what are their beliefs about money? Where is their money? Where is their business? Where is their work? Then you'll know, okay, these are my beliefs because these are my people and this is my frequency. It doesn't mean you have to let them go. That's not what this is about. It's never about the other person. It's always about you. Beautiful, stunning, creative you. And these people are just making an, ex making an example for you. So as soon as you start seeing, okay, this somehow or another, this is related to me and you build on that, okay? Now, I am going to tell you one of the most empowering things is to understand you are creating by default every day. You are creating, you're creating your day, your morning, your afternoon, your evening, your work. Start creating with intention. And this can be as simple as waking up in the morning and saying, it's going to be a great day. It can be as simple as waking up in the afternoon or not waking up. Some of us wake up in the afternoon, um, in the afternoon saying, I'm turning this around. Now, it, it, really quick, because the clock is running down. Um, one of the most powerful things you can do is as you fall asleep, put one, start with one intention. That place as you fall asleep is known also as the hypnotic state. But it's when you're in that state where your higher self or your subconscious self can Connect with the universe and create what you truly, truly want. Start there every night, one thing as you fall asleep. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about a few things that I've created and how I did that to help you bring it home for you. Until then, I hope you have an amazing an amazing week. And remember, it's your job to create the miracles in your life. I look forward to the next show. I love you all. Thank you, Champagne, for all of your comments. Have an amazing rest of the week.